We're here today to honor uh, three young ladies from Hoffman Estates High School who really stepped up to the plate uh, regarding the devastating earthquake in Haiti and uh, had a concept and worked on it and did an outstanding job of involving their fellow students and uh, teachers in their school, principal, everybody. So we want to honor young ladies for doing this. It's a great accomplishment and uh, we're very proud of you and very proud of Hoffman Estates High School, which has always been uh, in the forefront of activities in, in, in our community. It is our flagship uh, high school. Village of Hoffman Estates, Office of the Mayor Proclamation. Whereas Hoffman Estates High School students, Danielle Wilson, Cherie Wilson, and Isabel Ezra, felt something had to be done to help the victims of a devastating earthquake in Haiti. Whereas under the guidance of teachers, Mr. Ryan Brown and Ms. Jasmine Chung, Danielle, Cherie, and Isabel designed paper hearts with the slogan, Hoffman Hearts Beat for Haiti, and in the first week, they sold over 1,300 of the hearts to their fellow students to raise money for Haiti earthquake victims. Whereas fueled by the success of the Hoffman Hearts, a Hawks for Haiti t-shirt was designed by students Gabriel Pacino, Franco Fumagalli, Charlie Playa, and our teacher, Mrs. Cynthia Sertz. Whereas with the help of the fourth year teachers led by English teacher, Ms. April Hasler, the students and teachers sold nearly all of the 2,000 Hoffman Hearts and all 500 Hawks for Haiti t-shirts. Whereas the culminating activity for the fundraising campaign was a Hawks for Haiti show on February 19th, a show that attracted nearly 700 supporters and featured performances by the Drumline, the Hawkettes, Varsity Flags, Varsity Proms, Choir, Jazz Band, Orchestra, Orchestra's Dance Club, the cast of Beauty and the Beast, various individual acts, a teacher band, and a teacher dance crew. Would love to have seen that. Yeah. <laughs> Whereas the fundraising goal of $5,000 was shattered by raising over $9,000 for Haiti earthquake disaster relief. Whereas the Hoffman Estates High School students and teachers are to be commended and congratulated for the creative fundraising efforts that benefited the people of Haiti. Be therefore resolved that I, William D. McLeod, acting under and by virtue of the authority vested in me by the Constitution of the State of Illinois, and the laws of this village of Hoffman Estates hereby proclaim Friday, April 30th, 2010, as Hawks for Haiti Day and urge everyone to join its, its observance. We're just very proud that these three girls had a vision and carried out what they wanted to do with great, great success. And for me, that's what high school is all about. That when young people can find their voice and use it and make a difference in our world, Congratulations, well done, we're very proud of you. Um, well, it started out, uh, I was vacuuming my room and I told, walked in my sister's room because I thought of the idea for Hawks for Haiti and I thought that it would be a great thing for Hoffman to put on some sort of a show similar to a variety show that we put on at the beginning of the year um, to raise money for the victims in Haiti because we had all seen um, news reports about it on the TV and we involved Izzy in it because Izzy's one of my good friends from musical and <laughs> we the three of us together we uh, went to have a meeting with Mr. Britton and he grasped onto the idea right away about Hawks for Haiti and from there we just kind of built onto it with our teachers in the English department with the t-shirts and the hearts and the show. Uh. Our, our biggest concern was like trying to just raise the most money that we could and so um, mm -hmm. at first $5,000 seemed like a stretch but we almost doubled it so it was really successful and it was really cool to see um, most of the student body really mm -hmm. involved and really pulling together for one common goal and so that was the best part I think. And some people even some people even told us, "Are you sure that you can make five thousand dollars? That might be a little bit too much." Mm -hmm. And so, when they announced that it was about nine thousand dollars or over, it was I, definitely an overwhelming <laughs> and an inspiring experience for the three of us and, and the whole school. And we just really like to thank like the staff members who helped out with this because they went like above and beyond to really help us. No, I think so. we pulled it together in about a month. Three weeks a month. Yeah. Three weeks to a month because we were actually looking to have the show after spring break and Mr. Britton said, no, got to put it together <laughs> pretty soon here. So we got our act yeah. together and with everyone's help it definitely worked out. 
maybe about like 15, 16 programs and activities at the school, and then we had a couple individual acts that uh, had performed in the variety show um, a couple months earlier that we inc included in it. We did a dance and she sang, and yes. that was a, kind of a special act for the three of us after putting together the whole show together. It was a kind of good closure for us. So yeah. 200 to 250 were actually in the show, and then plus, the whole, the whole uh, school getting involved with the t-shirts, the hearts, yeah. attending the show, the community even mm -hmm. attending the show with the families, not just the students that came. So We uh, gave the money to the American Red Cross and uh, we mm -hmm. had a big check that we presented at the assembly <laughs> yeah. and so it was fun, yeah. Well, I guess yeah. it just really showed how uh, selfless the community could be. It, it proved to me after, because it's my senior year in high school, um, that once, I, once you get involved it, and you really try hard and you come up with an idea, one person can really, three people can make yeah. a difference. But one idea can build off with the help of other people. One idea could definitely yeah. uh, snowball into a huge event. All of our parents, they were really uh, supportive. supportive and helpful in coming up with ideas along with us. and. I think when the whole thing took place, they were extremely proud. We expect many other great things from you as you go throughout your life. You showed a demonstration to commitment to the greater community that very few people do, and you're to be applauded and commended, and uh, keep up the good work.